Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMS and after a long break of more than one year we are back again with this series in which I used to update you with all the latest tech projects or technical boards in the field of IoT automation electronics maybe all the tech news happened in the span of a month and I just you know bring all that important useful and interesting things in one single video and present it to you so that you can get all the necessary important information in one single video and this is the August 2023 edition starting with the projects this time so yes I kept the projects at the beginning because I, I found only few projects like which are interesting to showcase to you there are a lot of other projects made in the span of the month but these two or three projects were really interesting which i think you should know as a maker as an electronics and iot enthusiast okay so uh, two of them are from one single youtube channel only called as murta sarsh workshop so this channel is popular for its computer vision based projects okay and these two projects are definitely computer vision based only so first is the interactive gaming using computer vision in which uh, the projector is projecting the games on a wall and we can actually interact with that game using the physical object thanks to the camera attached near to the projector okay so this is a fun thing to make okay and it can be really useful in the events and the exhibitions and in the play zones like the gaming zones as well and he kind of uh, made a complete tutorial video uh, not a video but a document about how this can be made but it's not completely free of course he is charging for it so i'll leave the link for that in the description if you want to learn it you can go ahead with learning and making this thing so now next update is again coming from Mutaza's workshop only and this is a really useful project to try out in computer vision okay so what happens is when you uh, ever try to make a face detection based project what happens is it can definitely recognize my face if i have enrolled my face in it but along with my face it can also recognize the photo that contains my face in it or maybe the mobile uh, uh, phone like if i showcase my photo on mobile screen it will still recognize it uh, as my face and this should not happen in practical scenario right so he came up with a project in which uh, the project can detect the fake face and the real face as you can see or uh, the face in the camera uh, in the mobile phone is shown as the fake one and the real face is only shown as real and can also recognize the faces in the tv screens in the mobile screens okay so that kind of thing it can detect uh, like the fake one and the real one and this will definitely make your project more and more secure like the face detection based projects okay so this is a really useful project to learn and this is of course uh, taught in this complete video which is two hours and 26 minute long video okay so do check it out if you are interested in computer visions and, and third one is from our own, own channel techie SMS only which was about scanning QR code to provide the Wi-Fi credentials so for all those IoT enthusiasts who try to make different different IoT projects what they generally do is provide the Wi-Fi credentials in the code itself okay but if you use this Wi-Fi provisioning method you don't need to hard code the credentials in the code itself rather you can provide them wirelessly using Espresso's mobile application which is available for free of course for both Android and iOS and you can provide the Wi-Fi credentials later on via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and I completely uh, covered the like step-by-step -step process about how to use that technique not only I taught that technique but I also uh, you know taught how you can use that technique in your existing IoT project so I showcase one of my IoT project which was using the Adafruit IO that the MQT dashboard and in that uh, Adafruit IO code I have embedded the Wi-Fi provisioning code as well which was working flawlessly not only that if you are following my channel last Sunday I uploaded a video that covers the IoT display version 2 and in that IoT display I have put the same logic of Wi-Fi provisioning so that we don't need to provide the Wi-Fi credentials in the code. We can provide it later on and we can change it later on as well without uh, reprogramming it. So it's an amazing technique, which I think uh, every IoT engineer, IoT enthusiast, a maker should know if he or she is making some projects in the field of IoT. And this will be really very useful when you go for the products as well. Okay. So those were the only projects which I feel like sharing other projects were not that much good according to me so i haven't shared it here okay now comes the time to showcase you some upcoming new interesting techs in the field of iot but before i show you those amazing products i wanted to thank our sponsor for sponsoring this video this video is sponsored by ltm which is a pcb designer based software company now ltm is not just another pcb designing software rather it's a world-class and award-winning pcb designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion any angle routing, 
bus routing, phase and land tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this, they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you would be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and datasheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. Okay, so now let me show you the upcoming tag. So first tag is coming up from the LilyGo uh, Twitter handle. So they kind of uploaded a teaser of the T-Display S3 Pro, Pro uh, which seems like a small little iPhone because the UI they have you know programmed here is more or less looking like an iOS device, okay? So the widgets, the home screen, uh, the menus, everything looks like an iOS device. So basically this is a fully touchscreen based module. We don't have any any details about this, but as, per, as much I know of Lilico, this will be based on ESP32 only. Uh, maybe S3, I'm not sure about it, but yeah, this is ESP32. Uh, it will be ESP32 based, fully programmable, uh, full touch screen uh, display in a very interesting form factor, okay? Not only they displayed this uh, device, they also displayed one more thing, which is the expansion board with the Pogo pins. So what can we do is we can remove the back and attach an expansion board on it. This is coming up uh, with the camera, but we can have more expansion models with maybe different sensors or different input output ferry models different camera camera uh, different camera models and whatnot we can attach it on the back and we can make different different projects this is a very interesting concept in a very interesting form factor uh, which is revealed by Lilygo. it's not yet released in the market but as soon as it will be released i am definitely interested in trying my hands on with it, this device and i will definitely be covering its getting started video kind of a review video on our channel so subscribe our channel if you want to see this uh, explore this product in much more detail Next teaser is teased by the Maker Fabs team. Okay, so again, this is a teaser. They haven't revealed the complete specification of this product. So this is a circular display, a fully colored, full touch screen display along with a rotary encoder. Okay, so this kind of device will be really useful uh, uh, to be attached in a machine so that we can interact with the machine in a, in a kind of very in a interactive way using this kind of device and not only it has a rotary encoder and a touch screen but it also has a button let me show you a different video so in this video he is controlling the stepper motor uh, the speed of the motor is controlled by the rotary encoder and uh, the directions will be controlled by a button so as you can see we can press the complete screen and with the help of that button we can change the direction okay and here they are using the uart and i2c communication and in the last post they have put a hashtag called as esp32 which reveals that this is also based on esp32 chipsets only and uh, it is completely programmable because here we can see that they are using the communication protocol to control a stepper motor so yeah we can expect that we can program it Hopefully we can program it with Arduino ID as well. Uh, let's see, let's wait for this product to be released in the market. And of course I will be definitely testing it out if Maker Fabs uh, send us the review unit here, okay? So that was another interesting tech uh, teased in this month of August. And next is uh, the update coming, for, uh, coming from DRYAD or Dryad, you can say. So what happened was I was going through my YouTube channel and on one of the a uh, tech news based YouTube channel. I saw the video of this product in the month of August. Hence, I covered it in this video. I'm not sure if the product is released in the August month or not, but this product was having some interesting tech in it. So I, I thought it should definitely be in this tech update with Tech SMS. So what is this about? So this device is for detecting the forest fire. So till now we have two different options for detecting the fire. One is the CCTV camera, which takes around one to three hours to completely detect the fire. And we have the satellite option, which takes days and weeks to detect that fire, which is a really long time period. And using this product from this company, which uh, we can detect the fire within an hour. Okay. So what they're doing is they're using this device, which can, you know, uh, sense the 
gases released before the fire you know spread out in the forest okay so this has some gas sensors which can sense uh, co co2 h2 voc temperature humidity air pressure this all kind of sensors are built in this device and they are sending the data to the main base station with the help of the LoRa uh, connectivity. Yes, these devices are based on LoRa. Let me see where it is mentioned. Okay, so here it is. So LoRa parameters are written here. So it is based on LoRa, okay? Because in forest, we can't expect the Wi-Fi connectivity and we can't expect the GSM connectivity as well or the 4G connectivity. So they what they did is in every two kilometers of range, they are putting the LoRa gateways and these devices can talk to their LoRa gateway via LoRa mesh communication and in the end the gateway can send the data to the base station and from that we can take some uh, actions in case it detects the fire okay and interesting fact this is not based on battery while this is powered using super capacitors so when I watched the interview of this company they told that the batteries are batteries are something that are prone to blast or uh, catch up the fire okay so they neglected battery and rather they use super capacitors and this is the very first time I have seen one product or rather rather have heard of a product that works on a super capacitor rather than a battery and yeah it's also uh, powered using the solar panel okay so yeah this was a very interesting tech released in the market so i thought let's just share its information with you i'll definitely leave the uh, its link in the description if you want to explore it more and while i was going through this product I was like, LoRa is here to stay in the IoT industry. Like we will be able to see a lot more uh, IoT products that are working on LoRa connectivity. And this is one of the example. And as we are talking about the LoRa, we do have one more product uh, who is which is live on Kickstarter in this August month only, which is from Seed Studio. So those who follow my channel must be aware about this product, which is called as SenseCap T1000, which is a GPS tracker based on LoRa connectivity. Activity. So it can not only uh, detect the location in outdoors, but it can also detect the location indoors with the help of Wi-Fi and BLE. It is used for both asset tracking and human tracking. Okay, the great part, as I said, it's work on it is working on LoRa based connectivity. And it can also connect seamlessly with the Helium network, which is the fastest growing LoRa WAN based network in the whole world. Okay, so through that Helium gateways, we'll be able to see its live location and all other data on the smartphone application by Seed Studio. Along with the location, we can also see the temperature, the light data and the motion sensors data. Okay, so uh, the company was having a goal of raising $20,000 on Kickstarter, but till today, they already raised 82,922 uh, US dollars and still there are 11 more days left. So we can expect more and more people, you know, uh, backing this particular product on Kickstarter. So it's a very successful campaign and this was a really great product as well. So I have covered a complete video about it on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked it out, you can check it out. I have covered everything, every detail about this product and how to use it as well. One more interesting thing when I was going through this introductory video online, I found that in the end they have provided a couple of testimonials or review or screenshots from different different companies. Okay, so I was uh, the lucky one uh, who got to test this product before it was released in the market and they got our screenshots in their introductory video as well. So from India, uh, uh, Techie SMS was the one who tested this uh, video, sorry, tested this product and they got it covered in this introductory video. It was also sent to other countries as well. So it was sent to United States, the Switzerland, and uh, Bhutan, then Serbia and India as well then Bali so for testing purpose before it's actually given to the consumers okay so yeah I was the lucky one to test it out and I got uh, covered in the introductory video which feels really good by the way so yeah that was another LoRa based product uh, uh, you know put it on Kickstarter in the month of August so it got covered in this uh, episode okay straight after that we have one more new product which we are not sure when will be coming in the market but yeah i was scrolling through crowd supply and i i just came up with this product which is a esp32 based development board but this two usb type c port got my attention so when i scrolled down i found that uh, one of the type c port is used for the normal uart based communication and other is for the usb otj interfaces okay its size is also really very small like 29 by 37 millimeters it's a four layer esp32 i2 development board and all the specifications are mentioned here which seems quite promising like 4 mb of flash memory is there built-in bms is there based on tp4056 
okay and uh, yeah in a very small form factor it not yet in the market but yeah it is completely open source so if we go in the github repository we can see the complete schematic of this product okay so we can use it we can modify it it's, it's completely open source this is kind of an interesting development board in an interesting form factor so let's wait for this board to come in the market and also we'll try to get it uh, at our studio and try our hands on with this board and let's just see what uh, like how much different it is as compared to the other development boards in the market okay so for all those updates you need to be a subscriber of this channel so that is all about the tech update with tech asms august edition well how was this video according to you well i genuinely want your feedback should we continue this kind of series or what kind of modifications you want uh, to add in this particular episodes on in this particular series but do share your suggestions down in the comments of the video and also share which was that one update which you were not at all aware about before watching this video do share that thing down in the comments and yeah that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me techie sms